All right, we're going to have a crack at this one again. Um, the tree of thought prompt yesterday, I had a two-step in there where I wanted to ask the specific questions. You actually don't need to. So the objective uh, is to encourage deep and structured thinking on a complex problem or scenario by breaking it down into a series of interconnected thoughts leading to a well-rounded understanding of the solution. So what we do is we start with a root thought. So this is what you're trying to solve. We clarify it by breaking it into smaller, more specific questions or components. Um, what are the aspects that need to be understood? Um, the prompt will actually do that on its own as it, as it expands this out. We then need to look at the perspectives of um, different stakeholders that view the problem and are there any conflicting opinions? Um, what are the consequences of doing something or not? Um, identify the connections between the root thought and other areas of knowledge and how does this problem relate to other concepts or disciplines and solutions, proposed potential solutions, pros and cons of each. And then for each branch, generate sub thoughts, leaves that further detail, uh, expand ideas. So what you can actually apply this to, sorry, <clears throat> you can apply this to basically any tree of thought. So brainstorming, idea generation, problem solving, decision making, strategic planning, essay writing, so if you just want to get going on a topic that's complex, um, this is a good way of doing it. So how do we do it? So we take the above prompt. Now, in this case, I've done, should I buy a Jeep XJ with 300,000 kilometers? Be as detailed and specific in the analysis as possible. So if I just copy that off Ask Beeves, we do a fresh prompt. Then we pump out the answer. You've got all the clarifications. So what year is it? What's the overall condition? What's the asking price? What do you intend to use it for? Seller probably wants to get rid of it. Um, you want a good deal. Mechanic can provide an objective assessment. Um, there's potential for significant repair costs, difficult finding replacement parts. Not you, you're missing out on a good deal, um, et cetera, et cetera. So solutions, get a pre-purchase inspection, negotiate the price, factor in potential repairs and consider alternate vehicles. Um, it may have problems with rust. Um, it's likely to be reliable. Compare the asking price to similar ones. Yeah, so as you can see, you can really unpack a problem with these um, tree of thought connections. Uh, pre-purchase inspection. Um, negotiate a lower price or walk away if it's in good condition, set aside money. Okay, so that's a really good great way to start thinking on any topic. All right, cheers.